Hey everyone, welcome to Web Dev Metrics. In this video, we'll see how to deploy a website using GitHub Pages. So there are two cases. So first is a website without npm package. So we'll try to deploy portfolio application. So you can see that this is a typical portfolio website where we have all the details related to this user. And in the second example, we'll try to deploy a website that uses npm package like a React app. So let's get started. First, you have to go to github.com and then you have to create a new repository. So we'll create a repository that will name GitHub Portfolio. So this is available. You have to ensure that uh, this repository name is available and you have to make this public. You can leave rest of the settings, then click on create repository. Okay, so the repository is created. Now we have to get the HTML, CSS and JavaScript for this. So in order to get that, you have to go to this website freecss.com. I'll add this link in the description. So there are a lot of templates over here. So I'll use this free template. You have to click on this download. So it will download a zip. You have to extract that zip and then you have to open in the VS code. So I have already opened it in the VS code and you can go to the index.html and you can make the changes over here. Like you can change all the images that were used in that portfolio. And you can also choose to change the name and other details. Like we'll change this name over here. You can see that the name is coming from here. Key translate. Name it as Jenny. Now let's try to check in this. So first we'll do git init. So this will initialize our repository. Then we have to commit all the files. So we have added it now. We have to link the remote repository. So in order to do that, we'll use this command git remote add origin. Now this is linked. Now we can directly push it to the repository. So we'll use this command. Okay, now it has been pushed. Now if we refresh this, then you can see that our portfolio is currently checked in. So ensure you follow this. You have to go to the settings tab and then you have to go to the pages and you have to click on the branch. So we were using the main branch. So you have to click the same branch. And then you have to click on save. So it will take 30 seconds to deploy our pages over there and you'll get a link below this. So let's wait for a few seconds. A few moments later. Now you can see that our site is live. So GitHub has created this specific URL for us. And now you can see that our portfolio is currently deployed. You can also choose it to deploy to your own domain and the way you can do it is you have to provide a custom domain over here so suppose like you already have a domain name purchased and you want to link it to your specific domain then you can link a custom domain over here we have covered this first use case now let's cover the second use case where we'll deploy a create react app now we'll create a react app let me add a folder let me go to that location and then i'll use npx create react app and I'll create an app over here. So the React app is created now. We'll make a minor change over here. We'll go to the app.js and we'll remove this link. And in this paragraph, we'll mention that deploying to GitHub pages. Okay, now let's try to deploy this. So in order to do that, we'll have to make minor changes in our package.json. The changes are clearly mentioned in this package react gh pages. So we have to add these two lines in our script. So I'll add the link of this repo in the description. So I'll add these two lines. Okay, one additional thing that we have to do is we have to add a home page in our package.json at the very top level and in the home page this git name should be your github username and at the end you should have the name of your repository so let's add this so my github username is rahul-sr and uh, i'll create a repository which i can name it as react app git pages so i'll create a repository with this name so let's first try to create this repository now. So we'll go to GitHub and I'll create a repository with this name. So the name is available and the repository again should be public. So let's go ahead and create it to the repository is now created. So we have added these two lines pre-deploy and deploy to our scripts and we have added a home page. 
So this you have to remember if you are deploying uh, using create react app if you're using wheat then the gh pages documentation mentions that you should change the base so instead of making adding the home page in the package.json you are required to add a base property in the white.config.js so you can check this link i will add this link as well in the description uh, if you're using nets.js then github pages doesn't currently support it as of now so you can deploy nets.js app by using Vercel or netlify now let's move ahead so we have already created a repository now let's try to initialize git over here so git is initialized now let's try to commit the files now we have to link with the remote repository that we have created and then let's try to push this now the next step is that we have to run npm run deploy but in order to run that npm run deploy first we have to install this to install this pa package okay so this is installed now now we can run this command npm run deploy so after you run this command then it will execute the two scripts that are mentioned over here pre-deploy and deploy script so the deploy step needs this gh pages package we, which we have installed right now now you can see that this is published over here so now let's check this link which we have added as a home page so this will take a couple of seconds to refresh in, in the meanwhile we'll go to the settings and we'll see that if the configuration is correct on the github pages so the branch is gh pages which is correct so if the branch is not gh pages then you have to ensure that this branch is pointed over here so let's wait for a few seconds you can see that the site is live now and if we hit this url then you can see that uh, this is currently deployed so our react application is deployed on the github pages so that was about this video if you're new to the channel then please hit the subscribe button